everybody. Welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're just sitting in the office here uh, doing this on my phone. So to me it's weird. Uh, I don't record very well on my phone, but um, we're going to do a video here today. Five reasons why I chose a Ram truck over or a Chevy or a GM truck. So um, that, that's what today's video is going to be about. I am in the office doing it because we're having a little snap of cold weather and it's like 10 degrees outside and as much as I wanted to do the video outside in the truck by the truck to kind of have my my Ram truck in there uh, as a background or whatever it just wasn't working out because um, it's just too freaking cold and the winds blowing and stuff so so we're gonna do the video in here so um, before we get into the five reasons I want to do uh, just a minute real quick uh, of a little bit of background uh, the first thing I want to talk about why I chose a newer truck over the older trucks I like the older trucks there's no emissions on them things like that but um, the older trucks like the 05 the 06 GMC I have for example you can't register those high enough in my state here to cover the weight that I need to cover so um, you know for example that's why I bought this Ram truck that I bought now was the 4500 dump truck I had before a Chevy 4500 I could not register that in combination any more than 26,000 pounds because that's what the manufacturer set and that's what Pennsylvania goes by so I was stuck and a lot of the older trucks are like that. Um, some of the 3500s were like 23.5 or something like that. I'm trying to remember now. So the older trucks uh, really, unfortunately, don't do me any good. Yes, I, I do agree that they could probably uh, safely tor tow more weight than what they were originally rated for. But when I go to register the truck, like when I did this Ram truck, I had to take a page off the RAM website. There was a towing guide that specifically listed the configuration of truck that I had, and I had to give a copy of that uh, when I submitted the registration to prove that the truck can do what I'm registering it for. So uh, I can't do that on an older truck. So again, that's why I had to go with the newer truck, um, just to, to clear that up. Uh, also, I know there's Ford guys out there, and I don't have anything against Ford trucks. Um, in the past, I never really cared for the stylings of the Fords, you know, going back to the 80s and the 90s. So, you know, it, it's kind of like tractors, really. Like, you, when you're younger, you kind of get hooked on certain brands or whatever, and you tend to stick with those brands, and that's kind of what happened with me. You know, Chevy GM was first, uh, Dodge Ram trucks kind of was second, and uh, I never really did much with Ford, so that's why I didn't really look at Ford when I bought this Ram truck, is I'm just not used to them, I don't really know anything about them. Uh, I do think that the newer Fords, uh, the styling and things on them is really nice. I do like how far Ford has come uh, with those things, so I do like the newer ones, but... I kind of just wanted to stick with something that I felt I knew a little bit better. So that's why I didn't go with Ford. So sorry, Ford guys. So uh, let's get into it here. Uh, five reasons why I chose Ram over GM. So, um, in comparing the trucks, I'm comparing used trucks. So my Ram is a 2018. I didn't actually think I'd find something quite that new. I was probably 15, 16 is kind of what I was thinking, but I did find this 18. So I'm comparing a 2018 with the 2000. Uh, 15 GMC that I had so that's kind of what I'm, I'm comparing I'm not comparing 
you know, the, the new 2020 with the new 2020, like we're not, we're not comparing that. So all the information I'm giving you today is based on used trucks that are, you know, already a few years old. So, um, we'll start with number five. We'll go backwards. Number five, the fifth reason I chose Ram over GM was the availability and pricing of the well, Ram calls it the tradesman package. Uh, GM, I think, calls it work truck, whatever. Um, when you look at the 3500s in the GM side of things, most of the used ones that I found in my area were all Denali's. So even though they might have had 30, 40, 50,000 miles on them, they were still $55,000 roughly for a used truck because they had every bell and whistle trying to find a truck that was more on the work truck side of things, more basic, um, was very difficult in my area. I just really couldn't find anything. And Ram has had these tradesman packages out for quite a few years now. So there's uh, more used ones of that type of package floating around to choose from. So that was number five. Number four reason I chose Ram over GM. Um, it may seem kind of silly. The DEF fill location, the diesel exhaust fluid fill location, on my GM truck that I had, Duramax, it was under the hood. So you, you kind of, you know, if you had the little two gallon or two and a half gallon jug with the spout, you could kind of stretch up over the fender and reach up there and do it without too much of an issue. But here's where the issue kind of came into play. If you were on a road trip somewhere, um, and some of you may know this, you know, the, the big truck stops for 18 wheelers and things that sell diesel fuel. If you're towing a trailer, like my trailer is a 25 foot deck, and then you still have the tongue on top of that. And I don't know how long that is, but I'm guessing four or five feet. So I got 30 feet of trailer. You cannot just pull into any gas station uh, with a rig like that and expect to be able to maneuver to the diesel fuel pump. So a lot of times if I'm out doing something, I will go to a truck stop. So the problem is if you need the diesel exhaust fluid, the DEF, you know, the truck stops are nice. They have a pump there for the diesel and they have a pump there for the exhaust fluid. Well, the problem with GM was, and I think they changed this on 2020, but the older ones, the diesel fuel fill was on the driver's side right there, just like you normally fill a car, but then you had the nozzle there for the exhaust fluid. Well, unless you were positioned perfectly, you couldn't hardly stretch the hose out across the fender, across the motor, everything to reach the fluid, the diesel exhaust fluid fill on the other side. So that was a terrible design. Um, I think Ford and I know Ram had their exhaust fluid fills right next to the diesel fuel fill. Um, so that was really stupid, uh, drove me nuts. So that was number four. Number three was the headlights. The headlights on my 2015 GMC truck were terrible. Um, they did do an update with them. They put a different bulb in. And from what I understand, the, the lights were kind of controlled a little bit by the computer. So they reprogrammed the computer to try and boost the wattage, uh, which made them a little brighter. But the problem with the lights were uh, these goofy bulbs. And I don't even know what they're called. These goofy bulbs. Um, they were bright, but then there'd be like a, on the low beam, like a, just a line right across the top of the lights that it would go from pretty much bright to just dark. And it made it very difficult to see in front of you. And, you know, the high beams were, um, a little bit better, but they still were. Okay. My phone filled up the memory. So we have to not start over, but, uh, so the headlights, we were talking about the headlights. Um, a normal bulb, like some of the older bulbs, GM used to have great headlights, but it was more like a starburst type pattern where it would be brighter in the center and sort of fade out in all different directions. And those were fantastic lights. Like on the, I had a 2010 GMC before I got my 2015 and the lights on that thing were fantastic. Uh, but they stink on the 2015s. Um, they were just terrible. And I was afraid to buy aftermarket ones because I had heard some people I'd 
bad luck with them. Some people didn't make any difference and they were really expensive at the time. So I just let it be and dealt with it. But uh, the headlights on the Ram are much better than the ones on my 15 GMC. So that was number three. Number two reason why I chose Ram over GM. The tow packages um, that Ram offers. The tow package that I got, I think it's called the Max Tow Package with Ram. Um, it comes with the Iason transmission, because Ram has two transmission choices with their Cummins diesel. And uh, GM doesn't, they just have the Allison, which is a good transmission, no complaints. But they, I got that higher end transmission. Uh, the other thing was I was able to get a 410 rear end with Ram, where maybe I guess if you ordered it from the factory, but the majority of GMs out there, like my 2015 had a 373 in it. So, you know, yeah, that's a little better for fuel economy if you're on the highway or whatever. I live in the mountains, so I want to be, you know, I don't spend a tremendous amount of time on the highway. I spend more time going up and down the mountains here. Those of you who know, uh, have followed the channel, see the mountains, I go up and down here by the house. So I'd rather have that 410 than the 373, and it was much more readily available with the Ram. Again, I don't know that I've ever seen a GM with a 373 and like, again, maybe you can order it. I don't know, but uh, I, I wanted the 410. So that was number two. And the number one reason that I chose uh, Ram over GM, uh, I love the Cummins engine. I love Duramax too, but the exhaust brake, that's the actual reason, the exhaust brake is the number one reason um, that I chose Ram over GM. Uh, the GM exhaust brake, again, that was in my 2015, maybe they changed it now for 2020, I don't know. But you turn that uh, switch on for the exhaust brake. Now I'm used to tractor trailer type things with the Jake brake and I did have some uh, tandem axle dump trucks that had an exhaust brake, not the Jake brake, but the exhaust brake in them. So how that would work, you'd flip the switch, and as soon as you took your foot off the, uh, the fuel pedal, it would automatically kick in and start slowing the truck down. Well, with my GMC truck, you would hit the switch, exhaust brake comes on, you take your foot off, it does nothing. The way that GM designed those was that the exhaust brake doesn't kick in until you start braking, and then the truck downshifts, and supposedly, while the truck downshifts, the exhaust brake kicks on sort of at the same time or something to help slow you down. I don't know. I don't need the truck shifting down for every little brake application. You know, there's times that you use the exhaust brake, you don't even need to put your foot on the brake and the transmission never shifts on the Ram. So that was a huge disappointment with GM. Uh, that the way the exhaust brake is set up and there's probably some aftermarket thing you know that you could put on there but I just didn't want to deal with it so the Ram truck is just how I wanted the exhaust brake to be I leave the button you know it's a switch I don't think it's a button I think you push the switch little light comes on and it's on all the time exhaust brakes on all the time and anytime I take my foot off I want to slow down a little bit as long as there's a little exhaust pressure it kicks right in when the RPM drops down to like 1,000 or 1,100, there's really no pressure there, so the exhaust brake doesn't kick in. But going up and down the mountains and doing things, you know, you take your foot off and just, it kicks right in. And there's so many times that you don't have to use the brake or like with the GM again, you know, the transmission isn't downshifting. To me, it's just more of a normal exhaust brake, what I'm used to with driving, you know, bigger trucks. So. Those are my five reasons why I chose the Ram truck over the GM truck. So any questions, comments, leave them down below. I hope this was somewhat helpful uh, to you guys. Anybody who's looking at used trucks, uh, maybe give you a little bit of comparison on some of the features and options and you know give you a little something to think about, something to look at while shopping. So I'm kind of excited to see some of the new GM models. Uh, it would probably be four or five years before I would get one, you know, when some of the new, uh, the new ones turn into used ones and start trickling down as uh, used prices, you know. 
um, I'd be looking at them then. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they do. I know they've made a few of the few changes on some of the complaints I had, but uh, there was no money in the budget. Uh, probably would have been spending twenty thousand more than what I spent on this truck uh, to get a brand new, you know, brand new GM. So anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope that, hopefully it was helpful to you. And uh, I'm going to be doing some more towing with the Ram. Got a lot of cool videos coming up. Some equipment stuff. Some updates on the tractor situation. Um, all of those things will be coming up here pretty soon. So hit that subscribe button. Follow along on my crazy journey here. And uh, oh, the bell icon and the like button too, please. Little thumbs up button right there. Hit that for me. And I appreciate it. So yeah, that's all I can say. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next video.